Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about internet services and internet service providers. And obviously it varies per area, what internet you have, what's available to you and things along those lines. But um, you see these pop up all the time now. So 5G home internet services that you can get from Verizon, T-Mobile has, and I'm sure a bunch of others have it as well. And so we thought we would give it a try and we'd let you know um, what our experience was with this. So. This is something that if you want to get home internet, you want to basically be able to travel with it or anything else, this is something that works really, really well. So it's just a plug-in device. It's a small little box. You can take it wherever you go. As long as you have 5G services, you can actually get internet no matter where you go with it. So it's kind of nice. So if you're traveling around six months at one location and you're snowboarding it down to Florida, you can travel with this, so it's a nice feature uh, for this particular internet service. And it ranges from anywhere between $35 and $80, uh, at least for Verizon, for the internet services they provide. They say that you can get up to 300 megabits per second download speed, and about, so they say it's 50 to about 300. Um, I will say it really, really depends on the area you're in. So we did not get even close to that with this service. So for us, it really wasn't something that worked really well. Um, your, your upload speeds are gonna be even slower. So with the 5G upload speeds, I'm just gonna quick look to make sure I get this number right. But the upload speeds of it are about five megabits per second to 10 megabits per, per second upload speeds. That's not very good. So if you're uploading videos, you're doing things like that, you're, you're not gonna get a really good speed um, with a 5G service like this. So that compare it to an AT&T service, which is fiber. So this is fiber line run directly into a home. It cannot travel with it. It's not gonna be a travelable service, things like that. But price-wise, about comparable. So, you know, this is about, if you wanted to just say, you know, you were wanted 300 megabits per second download, if you do auto pay, you're talking about 40 to 45, maybe $50 for a fiber internet, where you're gonna have pretty much same upload and download speed. So you're gonna, if you get 300, you'll probably get close to 300. Again, this is wireless, right? So it really depends. If you have a big home, you might need an extender. Same thing is really true with the 5G services. You can get an extender. It really, it, it helps with the distance from where you put, put this as a source, but it really isn't gonna help you a tremendous amount if your area doesn't have really good um, 5G services. So what I would say is, if you're someone who travels around, and you want some cheap internet and you're not doing a lot of uploading and you're, you know, basically if you're not doing a lot of video calls and things like that, like we're doing, we're doing a ton of video calls here and uh, we're doing a ton of uploading of videos and content here. This didn't work for us because of that, right? So I was dropping calls, um, things along those lines and it's just, it wasn't reliable enough in my area for us to use a Verizon 5G or I'm sure T-Mobile would be the same. Um, fiber on the other hand, um, works great. So works great in our area. We got five. Um, we got the 500 package for AT&T, which basically gives you a half a gig of upload and download, and it works tremendously well. Again, if you have a big place, you're going to need an extender for this because it's going to plug into a, a source. And if you cannot hardwire it from that source directly into your computer or your TV or whatever. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have wireless services and things of that that you have to contend with. So um, it really depends on what you're looking for, but this is really a great option if you're traveling and you have good 5G services in the area. This is a much better option if you're looking for something that's at home that you do most of your internet stuff at home and you want better, more reliable service. Price wise, you're not gonna see that big of a difference. You know, you're talking like 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. That's really it. So that's it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll put a link in the description below to both of these services. Take a look at them. Please tell me your experiences with them as well. So I know people rave over all the 5G services. So easy. All you gotta do is plug it in. You can take it with me. So they rave over it because it works well in their area. And uh, I went back to old school. Uh, so, well, old new school fiber. Um, not cable, but fiber. So let me know what you think and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, super thanks is always welcome. Thanks.